Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Irish campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Now when last we left off, uh, <laughs> well basically not much happened did it. We were just waiting for our threat to lower itself to the point where we might be able to declare war on a kingdom, possibly for that actual kingdom. Now considering Australia currently has... I mean, it has an old king that will most likely die soon, and he does have a child heir. He's only three. Alright, so now we have to choose. Do we go for Lombardy, or do we go for Austrasia? Let me just check something right here. Saxony, Empire of Germania. So how much of the empire do we have to own? 80% of course I only control 19 so even if I control like the entirety of Australia that's like six additional provinces right there wait no six eight additional provinces mm, with eight additional provinces that's gonna be what 17 oh yeah definitely nowhere close enough what about Lombardy there is an empire of uh, Italia so essentially if I go to war and control the entirety of Lombardy I can create the Empire of Italia that is one option the other option is that we attack Austrasia control well almost everything in the Empire of Francia or Francia not sure how you guys want to want to word that, but uh, yeah, this is a much much stronger empire. I'm just worried because you have to consider. Here we have the Emerald Isles. Let me just check. Do these guys? Okay, no. What about you? Okay, so nobody desires the Empire of the Emerald Isle. So does that mean that while people do desire kingdoms, they don't desire to be emperors? Because if that would be the case, then I would be absolutely fine with uh, just attacking Austrasia, creating the Empire of Francia, and basically be a double emperor. And considering the situation right here... God damn! Seriously, they're all Catholic? Wow, that was quick! I mean, then again, if everything is this fragmented, of course, people are gonna make sure that stuff gets... Oh, uh, what's the word? No, what? Ah! Converted, converted, that's the word. That stuff gets converted quickly. I was kind of hoping that some of this land would at least revert to being Sunni. I mean, with Sunni lords. And then we could also do a couple of uh, Holy Wars at the same time as we do the Lombardy War. Wait a minute. Five thousand. Sixteen thousand. King of Pomerania, Count of Passau. This guy has 4,000. Oh wow, this guy's actually pretty strong. 8,000. He's got no pacts. What I'm thinking about right now, guys, is... Uh, why be content with just one war? I mean, currently I can raise an army twice the size of everything else they can muster. And we're wealthy enough to... <laughs> Thank God, considering we were doing nothing for 20 years. We're actually wealthy enough to also have... A mercenary company or two. To help us out. If push comes to shove, of course. 
Wait, do we have any packs? I actually forgot. This is the first episode of the... The first episode of the session. Basilius. So we do have something with you. Oh, he's gonna accept, of course, because we're not that threatening anymore. Meaning that, um... Oops. They tried panning around with the WASD keys. Uh, people do, do not find us a threat anymore, which means that they do not have as many political concerns about us, I suppose. Mm, who else could we have something with? Maine, Burgundy... Nope. Wait, but I still have unmarried kids, right? Uh, your husband died in battle. So you're currently unmarried. Alright. Your sister. She is betrothed to Nicholas of Burgundy. You are betrothed to... Vishnya, probably Vishnya. Wait, what does Vishnya mean again? I think it's Cherry. Senulatovic. Uh, House Senulatovic. Did I just pick her because of her... Yeah, I only picked her because of her Midas touch and whatnot. Right, 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 now I remember. And they already have three kids. Whew. I wish I could go celibate, actually. Alright, so you are unmarried. Let me see. Can we do something about that? Ah, uh, so Poland... Nope, nobody that could really... Oh, God, Poland's actually pretty damn big, huh? Hmm. Just looking at possible alliances right now. Your daughter's 15, but I don't have a son. Can I arrange a betrothal with my grandson, though? Yes, I can. I mean, he's my grandson, but he's a bastard, so... That ain't gonna happen. You have a little sister, though. She's three. This one might work. He's three as well. Would you accept? You would. Alright, so maybe, just maybe, we'll have the Byzantine Empire and Poland on our side in this war, which will mean a lot, because Poland can just wreck Pomerania, Byzantine can come and help us in Lombardy, and we will focus on Austrasia. What does this feel like almost... The beginning of the <laughs> of a of a world war right now. <laughs> Whew, uh, perhaps even Sweden. Though then the English will not have anywhere to spread, except into Swami. I suppose they could do that. Uh, who else would be a potential ally? Venice. How strong are you? Just out of curiosity. 6,000. How would you like an alliance as well? Your heir is this boy right here. Huh. You're 54. You're gonna die soon. But I do still have some grandsons for you. If you should accept. Here, have the other one. Let's see what happens. He accepts my proposal for an alliance. He accepts the suggestion. Uh-huh. Why not? Political concerns. What kind of political concerns? We're not even threatening. I mean, we're still threatening, yes, but... Base reluctance. Same interests. An opinion of me. That's a pretty poor opinion, huh? Sure. What about now? Still no. So the opinion of me does not beat the political concerns. What about you? You're also on 15, but would you be willing to? Nope, still political concerns. What kind of political concerns? Like, just a moment, guys. I actually have to look into this, because I'm... I am actually unsure 
what kind of political concerns these guys are talking about. Just a moment. All right, we're back. Now, apparently the political concerns is because, one, we are bordering each other. Uh, that can be one concern, and it's pretty much the fact that they might want to attack me one day. Uh, wait, let me just slow that down while we do this. Wonderful, excellent, alright. Oh! What can we put into- aha! Castle infrastructure? Mmm, Castle Town's pretty far away still. Or do we go into construction? The build cost modifier. It is a very nice thing to have, really. Though at this point we have a lot of stuff already built, so... Mm. But I suppose the cost would be nice. Invest into construction, there. Uh, this will take a long, long time. However, the Noble Customs are... They're getting close. Getting close. That's what we like to see. Let's just hope that this spy master continues his good work. He's only a 14, but hey. Uh, back to what I was saying. Basically, uh, let's see if once we are down to the 5% threat and everybody leaves the defensive pact, perhaps they would be more willing to form an alliance with us. Let's increase the speed once again. Alright, so these units, these revenues, retinues, not revenues, are completely back on track. Why do I have only 7,000 troops in my personal levy? That is slightly concerning. What the heck is going on over there? Steward. Oh, I have a 20 steward, really? And he's going to be calling a 21? Ho ho ho! Don't mind if I do! Uh... Can we have more retinues? Not just yet. Close, though. Irish pop or English revolt. Excuse you? Attacking of a sign of King of War for Sasana. You're my kinsman, which means that you're probably like a family member of his clan. I mean, sub-clan, if you want to call him that. Uh, 8,000 troops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna... No, wow, he only has 7,000 troops. Really? Really now? And he hates me for whatever reason. Minimal tribal tax. Why are you upset over the tribal tax? Oh, because you're still a tribe? Why are you still a tribe? Get with the times, man! Alright, threat 10.7. We'll get there. Wonderful. Please tell me that it went into. Yes! Uh, no, wait, did it? Yeah, it did, it did, it did. Oh, ho, ho. Almost there. Uh. Sheik? Are we trying to increase our standing with a sheik? Why is this guy a sheik? Did I not give the lands to a... Oh... So it's just randomly choosing somebody... ...to increase... ...relations with. And because the sheik is in there, I'm increasing my relations with him. By the way, why are you at war with... Aquitanian claim on Galicia. Wow. Aha! So the political concerns are now gone. So he should say yes, and how about you? Will you say yes as well? Not plot to kill, sorry. No, still political concerns. Hmm. So the Polish king is not as concerned as the... Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Accept your proposal for an alliance. Aha! Uh -huh. So we have to hope that uh, these alliances stand strong. While we're still alive. I mean, that the war begins while we're still alive. Ah, uh, though it's a stalemate, it seems. 
Galicia actually has a decent army. Uh, the English are gonna have a hard time, though. It's weird. Braganka? Alright. Wait, what are the Bretons at war with again? Breton Revolt. Alright. I don't even care. <laughs> One child lacks guardian. My grandson. Who dislikes me? I mean, you don't exactly like me, so there. Come on, let's get this threat down, people. Can we do anything in the meantime? Usurped, fine. Feel taxations. Do we want more money? But now the few the feudal lords are gonna hate us for it. We have to invest in noble customs and then um, head straight into absolute crown authority. Has contracted camp fever. No! Epidemic typhus. Oh, God. Damn it. He's gonna die and betrothed can marry. Yeah, sure. Christ, am I gonna have to do the alliances all over again? How do you feel about that alliance now? Still no. I have decided to institute the limited chrono- Sure, go for it. <laughs> so many kings have tried. So many kings have failed. And queens, sorry. 7.8. Let's increase the speed slightly just to get to that below 5. I mean, I'm still alive right now, so... Uh, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call against Vo. I have no idea who that is. This. Oh, wait, the Poles are at war as well? What are the Poles at war with? I mean, for. Do you have an alliance with the Byzantines? No, you have an alliance with me, but that shouldn't automatically pull you into this war. Oh no, he's just attacking them. Alright. The spots are... ...receding and the fever has broken. Am I really... Am I really cured? Oh really? I'm fu How do you... Wait. Okay, now my history is a bit off, but I was pretty sure the Typhus was... ...deadly. Though, no way, there were certain herbs that healed it, weren't there? Ah. Wait, there's a random Bohemian. Oh, please let it be. Yes, noble customs, there we go. Our nobles are gonna like us slightly more now. It doesn't completely negate this. But even when we go into Absolute Crown Authority with our heir, or at least try to, it will upset half of it, so... Eh, should be fine. Vassals, wait, I have a vassal that hates me. Duke of Murcia. You were supposed to be of my blood. But you're not. Because your father... Or well, your grandfather, I'm not even sure, but one of them decided to ignore the fact that I gave him my daughter as his wife. Oh, Pomerania is at war as well. With us. Excuse you. Defending Polish. Well, he, yeah. Huh. So it's a different war. Interesting. But, but stop it with the Sheik. I'm not interested in the Sheik. Come on, let's get under that five. 
Almost there. Sure. Wait, who? Oh, my first grandson is already 16? Wait. Oh, of my first son. Aha! Became of legal age. He's a bastard. Oh, is this the kid that I forced my... Cleared Santiago... War. You have 800 troops, my man. <sighs> Such a bother. Yes, yes, we will trade a crusade for Swami. No, no, you will not fool me again. It's for this kingdom again, isn't it? Of course it is. But even if I take it, like, Poland will still control half of it, which is not in my interest. We will not get as much as we would have before. It's literally just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. <sighs> or do we give it another try? Defending against Pope. Defending against... Finlander Revolt. I mean... Conquest. Oh, I can't decide. Do we try to go for this war again? Like, they are weaker than they were before. But then we'll be weaker in our war against Australia and Lombardy. Though, if we do this, like, it's gonna be a crusade. Our threat should not go up that much. Or if... I don't think it goes up at all. Vasilevi's race too long. What? You just got race. Shut up. Just finish that off and you'll be fine. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Alright. I'll give it one more try. Let's decrease the speed. I said decrease the speed. He gladly accepts, of course he does. We're the only ones that have joined this war so far. Alright, we get the French army up. Oh god, wait, we're gonna have to go through Pomerania. That is not what I had planned. Can you go to Finland? Sure, go through Finland. What is the... Supply is 1.8. No, 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 no. What's the supply there? 23k, alright. Just chill over there. For starters. You as well, chill over there. I just hope that these guys know that they're in a holy war, so... This won't be a penalty anymore. We'll see. Raiders of Yaropolk. Alright, so. Uh, the, this, the world is a danger and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son. Dun, 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 dun. Boy, if you die, he takes over. I don't mind. <laughs> He's much better, actually. He was supposed to be the king. I mean, the emperor, anyway. Prior to uh, you being born, so... Eh. You win some, you lose some. Björkstor! Join the existing defensive pact. 5.1. Well, the, defen the threat should go down to the point where the defensive pact should be gone. So the first one already left. Yeah, we're not threatening anymore, so people... 
left the defensive pack. There we go. The defensive pack is over. Guys. <laughs> it is over. My grandson. Assigned guardian. Let me see. La, 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 King of Aquitaine. There you go. The defensive pact has been disbanded. Oh my god, I didn't think it's possible. Uh, it only took me three episodes. Duke probably did not think I'd notice if a few coins here and there went missing, but steady disappearance made me suspicious. Might it be that the gold is disappearing to Duke? Greedy fingers? Question him. I found some more evidence. Steward Duke Thin... Finsnechte had stolen the money and confronted him with it. He confessed and begged me to just to be just when punishing him. You shall pay back the money you stole. You shall rot in prison. You're forgiven. Why is he upset? Oh, is he not my... But he is my steward. So he'll be angry at me if I... Say that he's forgiven than if I throw him into prison. Just pay me back. Uh, victory? What? Where? Huh? Oh, right. These guys. Alright, get back to your home. Armies are preparing. Swami in Estonia. So who else is in this war? Or is it just you guys? Oh no, plenty of people joined in. Uh, Bjarnia, Smolensk, Karelia, Estonia, Urgra, or Ugra, Ugra. Alright, so basically just chieftains. As long as it's not another kingdom or something. Although still. Still. Slightly worrisome. Sorry about that, guys. I seem to have forgotten to mute my phone. My son, Grandmaster, has asked me to spend some quality family time. That sounds nice. It does. Uh, and I had a great time together. We love each other. Wow. No homo. Do we take the penalty? Or do we wait? Let's wait for them to move out first. Uh, sure. All right, now let's strike. Also, why the? It said twenty-three thousand. It's sixteen thousand now. Excuse me. The heck happened there? The battle commences. Okay, so this is the Allied forces. Which one is... This one says... Wait, this one says 11.8. So essentially I can send all of my troops into there. Create a fort. Thank you, guys. No, wait, that's Polish. That's still Polish. We're not even in Swami yet. <laughs> Wait, is Finland at war with us? Nope. Move through now. I want these guys to make it through before. It seems 10 February 9th, 10th. All right, so the 9th. So there are going to be 900 less troops in there, but still, there's going to be an army. 
Oh, are they trying to do the same again and go for Rome? Right. I cannot call upon the French anymore. You. Where do your lands reach? So this is the max. Alright, raise your troops over here. Head for the papacy. Your troops as well. And you know what? Your troops as well. That should be a solid defense, and I'll even send my own retinues there. Or at least some of them. That should indeed be a solid defense versus them. Should they try to take Rome? Well, we take their lands. Alright, battle won. Continue on. Let's give you some good fighters. Because this battle can prove to be slightly more important. 1k, 1k, 1k. Yeah, let's just focus on getting one province first. Making a fort there. And then moving on. Actually, how about you move through here while they move through there and into there, and you guys attack that. And if needed, there's 4,000 troops over here, so we can always send some reinforcements up there. Uh, oh god, that was a big hit they took. Alright, let's fight. Wait, you guys probably... No, these guys require more... I mean, better generals. However, you also require generals. At least some of them. There we go. Let's do this! What are you at war with? Does your war over that? Does your war over that? Oh no. This is the only war that you have. For... Ah, oh, for this. Sure, take it. Take it! It's yours! This is gonna be a hard fight, huh? Let's see. Alright, so the flank, their flank is already gone. The vanguard was looking a little bit shaky, however, things ended well. Both battles are done. These guys are gonna take such massive... Wait, can I split in half, like select the bigger one, send it out. I don't want the attrition to be that freaking bad. And we know that it's gonna be pretty damn bad. Holy order. How much do you cost? Monthly cost, it says zero. It still says zero. You know what? If that's the case, I'll hire another one. And get both of them over there. Oh. Wait, did I not send the English army? Like, the complete full English army? Or are you the de jure? Aha! You're this guy's de jure. Alright. Sure. Embark. Head up there, pick up the, the other two. Just want to make sure what's going on over here. The papacy is coming to help. Nice. 
We're sending our forces into Rome to make sure it's safe. Just have to keep an eye on absolutely everything. I just hope these guys don't cause, like, additional attrition. Needlessly. They're gonna do it. They're gonna cause needless attrition. About proposal. My daughter? You know what? Sure. And with that being said... Alright, so... You guys have told me to try and um, build forts in the conquered lands, right? Uh, Poland one, okay, sure. Can we construct forts? Oh, they're just going past us. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Just move around. Maybe once it's completely done? Victoire! Alright. Supply is still 1.8. Where do... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha! There we go. Build a fort. This way, it should be fine. There we go. Alright, so the supply is suddenly 15,000. Much, much better. Alright, so that's two pieces of land under our control. <laughs> 99 war participation. Nice. I'm worried, where is their army? They cannot attempt to attack the papacy, I mean Rome now. What with the situation as it is? Who are you? Another one of my grandsons, alright. Why do people hate me? Leader of Britain revolt, or leader of English revolt, or leader of... Uh, Jesus Christ, how many revolts are going on at the same time? What the hell? This guy has like two. Good God. So, sure, King of Sasana, here. Are you a good commander or something? Please be a good commander. Yeah, you're a decent diplomat. So that'll be good. So these guys are gonna go there? Question mark? Alright, 2.5k should be enough for these guys. Uh, what is the current situation down here? 2.5, that's why they're okay. Alright. We're doing things a bit better this time, like, a bit more logistically. Why is it suddenly 1.8 again? So I'm guessing that also went down. Of course it did. Uh, my sweet Stanislava is terrifying when she wants something. There is nothing she wouldn't do to make me bend to her will. Now she wants me to make one of her friends, Chancellor. Is a very, is a very competent man. Who does she want me to? So my son with his Magnificent 13, would become my Chancellor. Fine. Then dislike my decision. The decision is still final. So at least this time Norway isn't in this war, is it? Nope. Alright. So, we take control of this. Ah. Oh. That'll be three pieces of land. How to improve the economy? Of course! Battle one. 
And that's gonna be another... Oh, that's a... That's an army. Let's bring in the big guns. 10,000 more troops, just like that. Good luck with those. If need be, I'm gonna call both of these into this battle. For now, let's place our most competent commanders there. Do we have an organizer? Org... Uh, we do not. Can I get an organizer? Uh, you're not the best of commanders, so let's see. Org... Seriously, we do not have an organizer at all. An organizer basically increase like if an organizer is in the middle, I believe he has to be in the middle at least. Uh, he increases the speed at which people move. Not people, sorry, the army moves. So essentially, if these guys try to go there, we'll just call in both of these armies and reinforce with that. If need be, how many more troops can I actually raise? Eleven thousand. All right, so. Then again, I guess he realized this is the army that he was gonna send towards Rome, so... Considering it's no longer coming towards Rome... I'm gonna leave, like... Move up. Eh, there. 3,000 troops can stay there, just in case. I'm gonna keep my revenues over there. I like not losing money. And indeed, the holy orders are free. Why can't I hire you? They are vassals of Kingdom of Jerusalem. And they have a contract. Alright, that's fine. Well, this episode... Wow, this episode has gone on for quite a long time. <laughs> right, so we will be making a cut right here. With that said, thank you very much everyone for joining me. I have been Kaiser. If you like what I do, please do consider leaving a like. As always, subscribe if you haven't yet. Click that bell so that you know when the next episode is up. Do keep in mind, like I said, this uh, Let's Play will probably not last that much longer. Probably until like episode 80 or so. We'll see what we can do right now. Like, if we manage to take over this part of Swomi and perhaps... If our threat does not go up that much once we reinforce. I mean, we do have a couple of strong allies right now, so... Wait, can I make an alliance with you yet? No political concerns. Alright, well, yeah, the, our English vassals keep attacking them, so... Duchy of Mercia... Is attacking... Interesting. At any rate... Yeah, we do have some strong alliances, so if we manage to, perhaps, somehow install kings in both Austrasia and Lombardy, meaning that we'll be a triple emperor, I mean, at that point, can anyone really still stand against us? Even if we do have a th gigantic threat, as long as we stay friends with the Byzantine Empire and keep taking over everything else, like literally everything else, and then focus on the Byzantine Empire, in that case, and only in that case, really, if this everything goes well and I see that we have sufficient power to just completely ignore the threat, we may continue this series for a tad longer. But if that's not the case, then I really don't want to make any more episodes like the last three where we basically just wait for the threat to go down in order for us to do anything. The plan here was that we would go out with a big bang, so essentially wait for three episodes for the threat to go down, go into either Australia or to Lombardy. Considering the current situation, we may go for both, and you know that once we take both of those, the threat is going to jump to a thousand, <laughs> if that's even possible. At any rate, like I said, guys, I will see you guys next time, and until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.